Counsel, can I ask you whether, let's, let's imagine that we agree with you. On remand, do you agree that the government could take a shot at proving that your client actually did try to interfere with or under C-1, uh, or actually, no, sorry, under C-2, obstruct evidence because he was trying to obstruct the arrival of the certificates arriving to the vice president's desk for counting? So there would be an evidence impairment theory? I'm quite sure that my friend would take a shot, Your Honor, but I would, I would, I would say no. And the reason why is that uh, this statute prohibits operation on, uh, on specific evidence in some way, shape, or form. Um, attempting to stop a vote count or something like that is a very different act than actually changing a document or altering a document or creating a fake new Well, document. he's obstructing evidence in my hypothetical. I mean, he's not actually altering the, the vote certificates, which is why I corrected myself and said under C-2. I mean, would that be different than someone, say, in a trial or criminal proceeding trying to prevent evidence that was going to be introduced in the proceeding from making it there? So I'm, I'm imagining him acting on the certificates, not the act of counting them. Well, again, I think they could try it, but I, I don't think that um, we're talking about um, trying to impair just anything other than the evidence itself. We're trying to obstruct a proceeding. Um, and there's questions about what proceeding means here, as your honor doubtless knows. But what the government would essentially be doing, as you noted, is converting what they've charged in C2 to a C1 type of crime. Um, is well, no, 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 C2, I mean, as I understand, maybe I'm misunderstanding your argument, but I thought your argument was that C2 picks up other things, but they just have to be evidence related. So in the hypothetical I'm giving you, it's evidence related because it's focused on their certificates, but it's obstruct, um, obstruct or impede, say, the certificates arriving to the vice president's desk insofar as the goal was to shut down the proceeding and therefore interfere with the evidence reaching the vice president. I, I still, I, that's closer. It's definitely closer. But it, it, if you zoom out and look at all of 1512 in order to understand what kinds of impairment we're talking about, we are talking about, or Congress is prohibiting, the kinds of impairments that actually change documents that actually affect their integrity. If it's just impeding or delaying, we'd submit actually that that is not part of 1512C. Delays are mentioned in five other parts of 1512, but, but, but 